Okay, so let's begin either in a comfortable seated position or lying down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a treat to have an evening class and the intention, which you'll bring in your own individual intention, but we're going to use this evening and this you know, early sunset with the season to kind of just connect a little bit more with the natural cycles of the earth. So in whatever position you choose, make sure you're comfortable Closing your eyes. And taking a moment to soften any areas that are working that don't need to. Any tightness. Might even be in a really subtle area like the jaw or the muscles on your face. I'm seeing if you can sink a little more into the support of the earth beneath you, into the natural laws of gravity. And from here, I'd like you to bring to mind a heartfelt prayer or affirmation. This can be for yourself, for a loved one, or for the world. Whatever speaks in your heart in this moment. And using this practice, as we move deeper into the innate wisdom that lies within each of us, to hold and support this intention for yourself, whatever you've chosen. And we'll return back to this in the session of Yoga Nidra at the end of the class. So bringing your hands to your belly and taking a moment to connect with your breath. Seeing if you can create even a sense of ease in your inhale and your exhale. Now begin to elongate your breath, but keep again that quality of ease. So explore how you can lengthen your inhale and your exhale, but without creating tension around the neck or feeling like you're muscling into it too much. What's your balanced breath this evening? Feel the movement of the belly now as we bring the awareness of the body in. So as you inhale, feel the belly ballooning into your hands. And then as you exhale, feel the belly drawing in towards the lower back, away from your hands. And repeat that four more times. So after this last exhale, go ahead and relax 
the breath. And we'll return back to that breath in there in a shortly. Go ahead and take a moment. If you're lying down, roll over to one side. And come to a seated position. And if you've been seated, go ahead and reverse the position of the legs. So in tonight's practice, we're going to prepare our bodies for a longer relaxation. And each of us might be feeling, you know, a little different aches and pains. So we'll start doing it just by an all-over check-in of the body. And I want you to have a little creative freedom throughout the practice. So if we're doing something and we've already, that feels so good and we've already moved on to something else, just stay with what really is right for you. Um, and then vice versa, if we're kind of doing something and you're like, I'm not really feeling like I need that release there, explore. Explore how you can bring a little more space and ease into the position. So in a crossing position, if you're not comfortable, you can come sit in a chair. Give yourself permission to do that too. So we're going to start by bringing some release into the eyes, into the optic nerve. You're going to take your two piece fingers, right onto the eyebrows. And the fingers are just light there. I want you to keep your neck center. Just gaze someplace in front of you. And you're going to, without moving your head, you're going to start to look up towards the ceiling at 12 o'clock. Try not to lift your eyebrows. Just use the eyes. And now scroll smoothly down, back to where you were looking, and then down to 6 o'clock. And again, just go up to 12 and down to 6. And two more times. Notice when the eyes kind of jerk and there's not so much of a smooth transition. See if this next time you can kind of create more fluid movement. So last time up to 12. Last time down to 6. And I want you to end at 12, your own timing. Close the eyes and relax the hands down. And just kind of let the eyes relax back into a neutral position. And go ahead and take a deep breath. Keep the muscles on the face relaxed. Softly open the eyes again. Piece fingers up to the eyebrow. Gazing over to the right, kind of like at a three o'clock, and then back to center and then over to nine. And continue again, just notice that tendency to be less smooth. How can you kind of glide the eyeball in the socket? And continue two more times. So we're doing a total of four in each direction. So last repetition. Finishing this time until you gaze back to center. Again, relax the arms, close the eyes, and take a nice deep breath. And then again, last time, piece fingers up. We're going to go all the way around the clock. We're going to start at 12 o'clock. Look up. And then continue to smoothly go to one, to two, to three. Continue at your own timing until you smoothly transition to six. Keep going around the clock. When you're up to 12 o'clock, I want you to reverse direction. And again, see if you can create a little more smooth transition. When you're back at 12, switch directions two more times. Again, try not to look with the head or the movement of the neck. When you're at 12 again, your own time, switch directions last time. To complete the cycle, when you end back up at 12, 
And again, knees in center. This time, I want you to bring your hands together, closing the eyes, and rub your palms together. And that nice warmth into the palms, and then place the palms over the eyelids, feeling your warmth penetrate into the eyes. Take a nice deep breath. Hands down. Again, cross the legs the opposite direction. So eyes get to stay nice and soft and relaxed. You're going to bring the right ear to the right shoulder. Take a deep breath. And tuck the chin down. Continue to roll smoothly down towards the chest until the left ear comes to the left shoulder. Keep the jaw relaxed, and again, reverse direction. So we're looking for that sukha, that ease with the movement. Keep reversing the direction down to the chest. Two more times. Let the muscles of the face stay soft. Last time. Keep looking for more space and release with each movement. This next time when you're down to center with the chins tucked deeply in, I want you to pause there. And as if the crown of the head was being lifted up by the ceiling, I want you to feel that effortlessly coming back to center till the head comes all the way up. And from here to wake up the neck and shoulders, we're going to go ahead and transition onto our knees. So go ahead and bring your blanket out. You want to try to maintain that ease in the neck, the muscles on the face, and the eyes. So arms down by your side, feel the shoulder blades down the back, spiral the palms away from you. Nice deep inhale, bringing your arms overhead. Feel the whole spine stretching here, and as you exhale, draw your belly in, sweep the hands to the lower back, and forehead towards the earth. Lead with your heart, inhale, coming up. Can you feel the shoulder blades moving down the back? as the arms come overhead. Draw the belly in, connecting with your breath. We're gonna add the head turn. Come up with the head center, leading with the heart, arms overhead, same thing. This time, turn your head to the right, and as you exhale, bring your temple down towards the earth. And you might feel more of a stretch there in the shoulder. Bring your head to center. Inhale, coming up. Spiral those palms away from you right at the beginning. And head to the left. Exhale. Let's do two more times. Coming up as you inhale. Really feel the shoulder blades squeeze together as you come up. As you exhale, draw your abdominals in. Head to the right. Where can you release? Last time. Inhale, head to center. Inhale, coming up. And head to the left. Exhale. Right. So go ahead and bring your head to center. Bring your arms forward to the front of your mat. Go ahead and come to all fours. And we're going to lower onto our bellies for cobra position. So adjust the blanket or your positioning so that the pelvis is on the mat or on the blankets. We're going to keep our arms all the way back so the elbows come off the ground, palms are underneath the shoulders or even further back if you can. Try to keep the elbows squeezed in. So we're going to start to wake up more between the shoulder blades and getting into the movement of the spine. Legs stay energized here on your next inhale. Bring your 
chest off the ground without pushing in the arms. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, turn your head and release back down. Let the shoulders roll forward here. Yeah. Inhale, come up. Exhale, turn your head. Two more times. Inhale, lead with the heart center as you come up head to center. Exhale, releasing down. Last time, we're going to stay lifted. Inhale, come up. Now stay lifted as you exhale, lower just halfway down. Draw the belly in. Keep the belly drawn in. Inhale, lift the chest up higher. Exhale, halfway down. Re-engage the abdominals. Two more times. Inhale, lift without pushing in the arms. Halfway down on the exhale. Nice. Keep the elbows squeezed in. Last time, inhale, even higher up. And then release. Go ahead and turn your head one direction. Feel the palms underneath the shoulders. Draw your abdominals in. Now bring your forehead to the mat. And using the abdominals, push yourself up back to your hands and knees. And readjust so that your knees are on the blanket. So this time, whole spine exercise, working with wheel pose, chakra vakasana. Check that the knees are hip distance apart. So there's a little space between the knees. Palms under the shoulders, but spread your fingers wide. Think of all of those reflexology points in your fingers. Now let's move nice and slow, just reminding ourselves of the alignment. You're going to lift the chest forward, draw the shoulder blades down the back, feel that nice strengthening in the upper back. Now you're going to tuck the tailbone under by drawing the belly in. I want you to bend your elbows as you move back. Surrender into gravity and let the whole upper body melt towards the floor. Even the wrists relax. And then inhale, lead with the heart as you come forward, almost like that cobra pose until you're back onto the hands. Exhale, draw the belly in, rounding back. Enjoy that moment where the head rests completely. And then inhale, come forward. So I want you to continue. Maybe you can elongate the movement and the breath. Well, a couple more times. Just feeling from the crown of the head to the tailbone. Part of the stretch is in the back, the tailbone moves towards the heels, the crown of the head releases towards the floor, and as you come forward, there's a slight lift of both the tailbone and the crown of the head. One more time like that. So this next just go ahead and stay all the way back. So we're going to finish until you're all the way back. Bring your hands to the lower back. Now lead with the heart as you come up again to a kneeling position. Arms sweeping up overhead. And then go ahead and release the hands. So we're going to start to add more of the twist in the spine as well as the movement in the legs. Let's go ahead and bring the right leg forward. And if you have any tension in the knees, you can double mat here. Let's hold onto the front thigh and lean forward so that you can feel a nice stretch in that left hip flexor here. Yeah. Now from here, keep that nice opening in the heart that we created. And then go ahead and straighten one more time. Go ahead and repeat that alignment. Come forward. So we're going to stay here. We want to try to feel stability in the pelvis. And some of you have blocks. So if you feel like you need a block in some of these, feel free to. Now just one thing before we continue. I want to make sure that knee doesn't come towards the toes. Keep it right in line with the ankle. From here, we're going to take the left hand. You're going to bring it to the outside of the right thigh, and you're going to bring your hands to Namaste. Now you're using that left elbow as a little resistance to push the leg away and feel the twist in the abdominals. 
and in the spine. Now, you can gaze up towards the ceiling. That adds a little balance. Or use the focus of your eyes and your gaze, and you can gaze down at the right toes. Whatever feels best for your neck. I want you to take a couple deep breaths as we stay here. And keep feeling the twist in the spine. Yeah, keep pushing that elbow into the outer thigh. Now you can go ahead and release, bring your hands to the floor. Straighten the front leg. Now you get to choose either keeping the toes down or bringing the toes up. But let your head release forward and let the spine round forward so that you're stretching the back, the muscles of the back get to relax. And we're now bringing our awareness into that leg. Take a couple nice deep breaths. Again, you get to choose toes down or toes lifted. Where can you bring a little sukha, a little ease? And slowly bring the toes down. Bring your hands to the inside of the leg. Walk your right foot out just a couple inches. And keep kind of, you're kind of walking it, heel toeing away from you, yeah. And now you're going to start to bring that right knee away from you, opening more into the hip and inner thigh. Yeah. So you can kind of explore until you can find a stretch. If your wrists are really tired, you can always come onto the kind of the knuckles, or if you want more of a stretch, you can come down onto the forearm. Again, we're bringing some awareness more into the hip, so don't feel like you have to do that lower variation if you already feel the stretch when you're on your hands. Take a nice deep breath. Nice. Now from here, you're gonna to continue just to heel to walk that foot away from you. Come back to a kneeling position with the hands in an extended child's pose. Take a moment here and bring your knees a little bit wider away from each other and keep the toes touching. And then bring your hands in on the stick. Rest your forehead either to the floor or to a block. And again, we'll stay here for four breaths. After your four breaths, stay. Go ahead and slowly come up. We'll start in a high knee stance, moving slowly and bringing the left leg forward. Hands to the front thigh. And you want to feel grounded. So if you need to take a wider stance, just like a warrior one position, feel free to do that. Let's lean forward. Find that alignment where the knees in line with the ankle, not too in front, but where you can still feel that nice stretch in that right hip flexor. And then go ahead and release, come out of it. We'll do that one more time. Shoulder blades down the back, come forward. Now find that stability. Let's add a little abdominal support here. We're gonna take the right elbow now to the outside of the leg and bring your hands to namaste. Now repeat that same neck variation, either gazing over the left shoulder or mindfully use your eyes as a focus point and gaze down at the left toes for stability. Again, keep pushing that right elbow into the leg, draw the belly in, feel where the spine can twist a little more, and keep breathing. Nice. Now then from here, carefully release back into the one-legged forward bend. Relax the whole upper body and either toes staying down or toes lifting. You know, this side might need a little different stretch. So explore. 
And when you find that yummy stretch this evening, take a few deep breaths. Using the breath to help soften any tight muscles, create more space. Slowly coming forward, bringing the toes back down, both hands to the inside of the thigh. Heel toe out a couple inches, and then let the left sole of the foot kind of open, come away from the mat, and let that hip get a nice stretch. And readjust. If you came down to the forearms, you can do that variation. Keep breathing. And then carefully release, come back up. And heel toe, walk back. Again, into that extended child's pose with the knees away from each other, big toes touching. This time, bring your arms back by the ankles and let the shoulders roll forward. Taking four nice deep breaths in child's pose. After your four breaths stay, go ahead and carefully come all the way up. And we're going to transition onto our backs. So again, fold your blanket out so the whole spine is supported by the blanket. And then go ahead and rest all the way down. back down, and then bring the palm to the floor, 
We keep sliding that arm all the way until you're down towards your right hip. Palm facing up, inhale, you're staying in the twist, head to center, sweep the arm back up towards the ear. Exhale, turn your head to the left, palm coming to the floor, sweep the hand along the floor towards the hip. One more time, inhale. Arm sweeps up, head to center, you're, you're facing the ceiling. Exhale, sweep the arm down. Nice, and go ahead and release. Come out of the twist. That's a nice one, isn't it? Oh. Well, behind the right leg now. Now, you also have a, a strap, so if you want to use the strap over the right leg, you can. So left leg stays energized away from you. We're still on the same side. Right knee is hugging in. You're going to extend the right foot up towards the ceiling. And you're going to stay here. I want you to keep the shoulder blades heavy into the floor. So if you feel your arms are working too much, I want you to use a strap and hold onto the strap. So keep the legs energized here. And if you don't have a strap, we're going to start to add little ankle rolls with the right foot. And I want you to feel the movement as you point and flex. And just like that smoothness of the clock, I want you to see if you can feel the smoothness of the ankle. And go ahead and reverse directions. See if you can stretch the toes. Two more times. Nice. And then from here, keep the right knee bent. And then bring the left knee into the chest. So same sequence. Left knee stays hugged in. This time extend the right foot energetically away from you along the floor. Hold on to the knee with the left hand, or sorry, right hand, and bring the left palm to the floor. <laughs> Stay here to your inhale. Exhale, twisting to the right, turning your head towards the left. Let that leg cross over the body. Even more. Inhale, coming up. And exhale. So just moving in and out of the twist first. No arm movement. So inhale. Knee comes back up to center. Left palm stays to the ground. Exhale. Twisting to the right. Draw the belly in. One more time. Inhale. Back up to center. This next time we're going to stay. Exhale and twist. So stay in the twist. This time, inhale, left arm sweeps up towards the left ear. Head to center. Now gaze to the right. Exhale, sweep the left palm along the floor, all the way down towards the hip. Inhale, head to center, palm facing up, sweeping back up towards the ear. Exhale, head to the right. Palm sliding smoothly down towards the hip. One more time. In and up. Exhale. Sweeping down. Turning your head to the right. Now then go ahead and come back to center. Keep the left leg in towards the chest. From here, extend the left leg up towards the sky using the strap or holding behind the leg. Take a moment and breathe. Both legs are energized here. Heels pushing away from you. See if you can feel the shoulders still relaxing into the floor. And let's check in with this ankle. Starting to point. Circle around, flex, stretching the toes. And reversing directions. Last time. And go ahead and bend the knee. Let's bring both knees into the chest. We'll end with a little Akhanasana knees to chest pose. So fingers stay lightly on the kneecaps. We to feel when the knees are hugged in, how the lower back is relaxed into the floor. 
And then as you start to bring the knees away from you and arm distance away, there's just a natural curvature to the lower back. And I want you to draw the abdominals in. Feel there's a little core work as you bring the knees back into the chest. With the breath, inhale, knees away from you, arm distance away. Exhale, draw the belly in, squeeze the breath out as the thighs come in towards the belly. Four more times. Again, even here, keep the shoulders relaxed into the floor. Work at your own breath pace, moving the knees away from you as you inhale. And in on the exhale. Two more times. Last time. Now then go ahead and release. Bring the feet down to the ground. And I want you to extend the feet both away from you and just feel if you were flat on the ground in, in light of a shavasana position, just check in with how you want to take yoga nidra this evening. So you may want here, if you feel over curvature in the lower back, you have a choice if you want to elevate your feet with a chair or an extra blanket. Or if you feel any discomfort in the neck, you might want to place a second blanket underneath the neck. So let's pause for a moment for like the next minute so that you can get even more comfortable because we're going to be here for at least 20 minutes. So you might not feel like 20 minutes when you're in a relaxed state, but if there's a part of the body that becomes distracted, it might bring you out of a relaxation. So just seeing how you can get even more comfortable. Again, before we begin, when you're in your position, go ahead and scan your body from the crown of your head all the way to your toes in any areas that want to make a last minute adjustment. Yeah, it might be a distraction of a prop or anything that you may need. So yoga nidra means yoga sleep. The body is in a deep, restorative position like Shavasana. But the mind actually focuses on the visualizations of what I'll be saying. So the goal is actually to stay awake and aware and not go actually into sleep. But what you'll find as we do this and you become more and more relaxed, you might notice colors, images, even feelings. And I want you to embrace those that come to you, but then keep remembering to return back to my voice. So it's not that you're not trying to embrace the, that innate wisdom of things that are coming to you, but that you can just keep moving on. You don't get attached to them. So we will now begin Yoga Nidra. We will begin with a heartfelt prayer 
or affirmation. It's going to be the same one you chose at the beginning of class. But I want you to create a statement in the present tense as if this has already happened. Go ahead and create your statement. And I want you to repeat this three times silently in your mind now. And again, we will return back to this intention in a moment. I want you to bring all of your awareness now to the sensation of the back of your head. Feel whatever the back of your head is touching. I want you to feel all of the cells in contact with what the back of the head is touching. Feel now inside Pure sensation. Feel now your eyelids. And follow the sensation of the eyes all the way to the back of the head. Remembering you are awake and aware. Feel now the sensation of the air as it touches the nostrils. Breathing in and out. Pure sensation. Feel now your lips. Your tongue. inside of your mouth. Feel your right shoulder, your right elbow, right thumb, second finger, third, fourth, fifth. All of your awareness Feeling your right arm. Can you feel even a pulsation or a vibration of your arm? Feel your left shoulder, left elbow, left thumb, second finger, third, fourth, fifth. Feel your entire left arm. Feel both arms simultaneously. If you drift off, return back to the sound of my voice. Following the sensation now of your spine, we're going to start with the back of your neck. Follow the sensation of the spine down between your shoulder blades, all the way down into the lower back until you've reached your tailbone. Feel your whole spine now. Radiant sensation. Feel your right hip. Your right knee, ankle, right big toe, second toe, third, fourth, fifth. Feel your entire right leg. The pulsation. Feel your left hip, left knee, ankle. Left big toe, second toe, third, fourth, fifth. 
Feel your entire left leg. Feel both legs simultaneously. Feel now your whole body, every cell simultaneously as pure radiant vibration. Shifting your awareness now to the breath. And I want you to follow your breath all the way from the beginning of your inhale to the end of the inhale, noticing that space right before you exhale again. And follow that awareness of the exhale all the way to the end of the exhale. And again, in your own timing, following the breath, the sensation, all the way to the top of the inhale and to the end of the exhale. And you're going to do six more breaths with this awareness and you're going to start to count down so that this next breath is the fifth breath. to picture a flower, any flower, a child playing, a tree, a fire. child playing, a tree, a house, a flower. I want you to now feel the quality of cold. You can even feel a part of the body that feels cold. Feel now the quality of hot. Where can you feel hot? Now feel both simultaneously. Now feel the quality of love. Where do you feel that? Now feel where the quality of being unloved. A time in your life where you felt unloved. Where does that sensation experience itself? And again, loved and unloved. Feeling both simultaneously.
Feel now the quality of peace. What does that feel like? Where can you feel it? Now feel the opposite. When things aren't peaceful, what does that feel like? Where do you feel it? And again, peace. And feeling both simultaneously. Picture yourself now in a meadow, the most beautiful meadow you can imagine. This can be a meadow that you've been to or one that you want to create. Are there flowers? Are there mountains in the distance? Is there a breeze that you can feel in the middle? And in the distance, you see someone walking towards you. And this can be a woman, man, or child, any figure. And then this person walks closer to you, you decide to sit down in the meadow. And this person sits right across from you. And you start to breathe in the air and beauty of the surroundings. When you breathe in this quality of peace, and as you exhale, this other being inhales your breath. And as this being exhales the quality of peace to you, you inhale its breath. And again, you share the breath. Your exhale is their inhale. And their exhale is your inhale. Until now, your breaths merge as one. radiating out for the whole world to see. Pause in this sensation.
inhale, you can feel the back of your body resting on its floor. You can feel the support of the earth beneath you in this moment. And you can feel the nourishment of the breath in this present breath. Taking a deep inhale and exhale. As you connect with each breath, let that help bring you back to this present moment. Returning back from wherever you've been. And I want you to return back to your heartfelt prayer or affirmation, repeating it three times in the present tense, silently now. Moving slowly to come out of Yoga Nidra. I want you to move very slowly and enjoy whatever movement you choose as if the whole world was waking up within you. Transitioning at your own time. slowly into that fold up fetal position first. If you need to pause there for a few additional moments, you can. And then returning back to Sukhasana. You can elevate your hips with a blanket or booster. together, creating a group part this evening. And as we all, let's resonate at that quality of peace, visualizing it, encircling and embracing the whole earth. So taking a group inhale first, let's link our breath before we begin. And a group exhale. Again, a group inhale.
Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.